been a, a decent uh, break away from the place um, over three months now, and it's, yeah, it's just great. I think to have um, you know to have everyone, have everyone back. We're in small groups, obviously, at the moment, so they're not really seeing each other. Um, but even seeing the interaction between the small groups that we do have, um, you know, it has been great. I think everyone's looking forward to today, and it, uh, it's running okay so far, which is a positive. Firstly, the IFU, you know, we've done an awful lot with them. <laughs> There's been some good uh, alignment in terms of um, you know you know what they're doing and, and across the provinces as well, which is always important. But I think you know particular credit has to go to you know, to Rona Donnell, who's our operations manager, who you can imagine with that title has had there. Uh, an awful lot on his plate and has you know gone about his business as he does and um, done a fantastic job and I think the other one in particular is Gareth Farrell who's sort of almost our, our medical lead at, at this point um, you know our head physio obviously and he, you know, he's done an incredible amount of work as well just in terms of making sure that we're I guess compliant coming in, into this morning and it, we're all facing you know, so much that we've never seen before so I think um, there's certainly been some challenges within that time, um, but you know they've, they've both been unbelievable. And then if you sort of add in Charlie uh, Higgins as um, our head of athletic performance and Killian Ridden, um, who's a senior athletic performance coach, you know again the, the amount of work that they've done in preparation for today, um, you know they've made it such a, I suppose a, a smoother day today than, than, than it might otherwise have been, and they deserve great credit because um, it certainly hasn't been easy. There's been an awful lot of, uh, I suppose, paperwork and such, and um, you know, I suppose most of it would be protocols as opposed to guidelines, but it's something that we have to do as opposed to, um, you know, we, you know, that you think about doing. I think, yeah, you know, the most important thing for me was to provide a safe and secure environment for our players and staff. You know, and that is was the first key, you know, key element of when we sat down to, to discuss how we went about um, implementing um, the protocols. That was the most important thing, and you know, we had to do whatever it take you know, to get to that. And say so it's taken an awful lot of hours from. Say so, yeah, you know a number of people who've done who've done a fantastic job. So from that end, that, yeah, that's been really important. And then it's just you know a lot of it you can put down to common sense. You know, like you know I think people have got used to behaving in a certain way. You know, in and around the place now when you walk along the street, you know people are avoiding people. So just making sure that you're social distancing, making sure that you're doing the you know the so I suppose the COVID nineteen etiquette. You know. Um, sneezing into your arm or coughing into your arm or whatever it might be and you know throwing away tissues and, and all that stuff that's you know probably ingrained now in most of our in our you know most of our heads but it is a common sense approach but when you're in here and you got into a flow of working then you know sometimes those things um, you know you just need to keep on top of them really and I think there'll be a period of time where you know, there's quite a lot of instruction going on we did a lot of education before they came in and um, you know we Obviously, did a, a video, um, sort of tutorial as such, to show the new flow of the building, and then we also brought in um, um, one from each of the eight groups. We went and we walked them around the place um, on Friday as well, just to make sure that they had an understanding, so that when they came in here today and on Wednesday as well, when they get onto the pitch, you know that they understood um, you know, what the flow looked like, you know what the place actually looked like, you know what was stationed where, and then they could help educate the rest of their group and. Uh, you know, help them sort of you know, get into the flow as quickly as possible because yeah, that's really important because at the end of the day we're trying to get something out of this period as well. You know, we're trying to get back into rugby and we're trying to get you know back into their um, you know into their gym work and it's important that um, they don't spend too much time worrying and thinking about the flow that you know we're educating them as best as possible prior to coming in. It sort of fell into place you know quite well you know like so again that safe secure environment that was the, the you know that was the be all and end all um, and that's still the most important part but like even even the fact that it's the 22nd of june and we're due to play on the 22nd of august you know it's like a, a two months and you know there's a roadmap you know and as long as we continue to adhere to the protocols and you know make sure that we do that you know with a view to understanding what's at the end of that yeah, process you know which as you say is uh, a roadmap to be back playing you know, individual games and then into the um, you know into the uh, Pro 14 and then obviously the Pro 14 dates for next year as well I think October the 3rd being the first game so I think it gives everyone um, a degree of hope after a, you know uh, you know a long few weeks um, but it's important again that we you know that we uh, acknowledge and adhere to the processes that are there in front of us and knowing that as we sort of tick off certain boxes that we can move on to the next phase and as you say that's been laid out you know well for us we have a good understanding of it and if there's a, an opportunity to accelerate some of those you know while we're in the process that's fine but at the moment you know we have a plan and you know we intend to stick to it until we're told different